Hey, good morning. It's Monday, January 9th, second week of the trading year. I hope you had a great first week or maybe you didn't trade the chop. You know, I managed to trade every day, just focus more on the lower time frames. Got chopped up a bit, but um, still came out with a positive R. So all's good there. In this video, we're just going to talk about where we see the outlook going for the markets, um, mainly S&P 500 and NASDAQ. We're just going to go over a little bit of an analysis just so you can see my thought process of how I see the market and where I think we may go. So basically, we have been in this uptrend on the daily chart and we made a top topping candle here um, that was de December 13th sold off and then broke market structure down but came back down to this support to the left here November 10th um, that was the day we had the face ripping rally in pre-market and basically what we see now is a lot of people thought we were going to break down but we we didn't we actually came to the top of the range so I have these two rectangles here just because it's a range so we have bottom support here we have upper resistance here and I, we haven't came, we haven't come back to the 38.2, the 50, or the 61 fib yet. And what I basically think is we're going to come back to at least the 50% retracement, possibly to the 618. So for ES futures, this looks like a rally going up to anywhere between 39.80 and 40.30. So we could come anywhere in that range. We're just now hitting the 38.2. So some people could take some profits here. There is resistance here to the left. Some people might start shorting here. We could get rejected right there. I personally think there's room to run up towards uh, the 618 just to make a lot of people think that we're in a new bull market and we're going to just keep rallying. When I'm day trading, I basically just look at the daily weekly time frames and then I'll see where we may have potential resistance. I'll see if I'm going to keep that bullish bias. I currently still have a bullish bias up until we get to that 50% of the 618. Then I'm starting to possibly shift my bias to bear if we reject and break back down and, and continue down. So that's just the analysis for the S&P 500 ES futures. NASDAQ has been a lot weaker. So, you know, we did come to all the way down to the support down here. Looked like we broke down, but now we're rallying up. And I think, you know, we're going to get that test up to the 38 fib. Now the question is, can we rally all the way up to 11,500 or 11,700 on the NASDAQ? I don't think so because it's been so much weaker. Now on the rebound rally recently, uh, past couple days, we're just gonna be coming a little bit stronger than the S&P 500. Like as an example on Friday, we had a 3% day where on the uh, S&P 500, we had about a 2.5% day. So seeing some more strength in terms of the rebound, but we'd have so much more to go on the NASDAQ that I don't see us retracing up into the 618. This is just what I think though. So take it with a grain of salt. What I personally believe is we're going to retrace to about 11,300 to 11,500, reject and come down to new lows early in 2023, possibly first quarter. Uh, same with the S&P 500, come up to the 618 maybe, and then start to fail and come down to the 3700 level, making a new recent low. I don't have any long-term outlooks. I like to see how the market goes and then play it day by day. And I'm also trading on a daily basis. So that's just what we're working with there. Let me know what you've been thinking, what you've been looking at. Uh, have a great trading day, and I'll see you in the next video.